Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers. Have you ever heard of Genesis Works? If not, I think you need to. It's a nonprofit that takes high school seniors and works them through a unique process, prepares them for paid internships and ultimately skills and training for jobs and careers. Here this morning to talk about the program and how you can help is Catherine Taylor, Executive Director of Genesis Works Houston, Shashella James, the Centerport Energy Vice President of Infrastructure Ops and Tech Services. Thank you. Also on the board of Genesis Works, thank you both for being here this morning. For those who do not know, what's the best way you describe Genesis Works and how it works to help these kids? Yeah, I think it really simply put, we're working with our corporate partners to provide opportunities to high school students mm -hmm. to see what's possible. Um, as you highlighted, our mission is to you know, provide career pathway support to high school students, specifically coming from underserved communities. And then we're empowering them through skills training, both technical and professional skills that really enable them to um, be placed in a paid corporate internship while they're in high school, which is a phenomenal experience giving them the confidence that they need for to be successful. Yeah, no kidding. Most high school kids don't get that opportunity. So, Shella, talk about, we, she talked about the partnership. And so Centerpoint is one of those companies as well that does that. Talk about how, why it works so well for you and why other companies should want to get involved in the program. Absolutely, Cambrell. Genesis Works works with more than 50 companies across industries in the Houston area, healthcare, financial services, utilities. So Centerpoint is just happy to be just one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been a partner with Genesis Works well over 13 years, myself a, a large part of that. And we keep coming back because we know we're going to get students that are vetted, properly trained and ready to help us build the pipeline that's necessary for the next generation workforce. And so that's part of the work that you do, the vetted part, trying to just, so talk about the process. What, what does a student have to do or what do you get the students from? Do you get them through the schools or students apply independently? How does that work? Yeah, so we have um, close to 40 different high school partners across six districts. Um, so we're currently recruiting, we get hundreds of applications every year, but the first real uh, part of the program is our intensive eight-week summer training program. So it starts in June, um, and that's about 160 hours of both technical skills, so IT, accounting, and general basic you know, business acumen. But, but, the, but the students, they have to apply to get into that do. program to begin with. Yeah. So once they get through the first, pro once they're in the Genesis Works, then they go into this first program. Yeah, so they go through multiple, an application, um, two different interviews, and then those who are accepted into our summer training program go through the 160 hours of um, you know, these technical and professional skills, but also really learning how to work within groups and collaborate um, and really the skills that they need to start this kind of entry level um, paid internship opportunity. I would imagine it, I, you know, I am involved in our intern program here at the station. So it's always just exciting for me when I know that the kids who come in actually Get, get, get jobs. Mm -hmm. And so I'm assuming that when you have kids coming to Centerpoint, they actually come back to Centerpoint to come work and they've come through Genesis Works. That must be an exciting feeling. Uh, it is more than exciting. Over the years, we've hosted 77 interns. We have five on staff with us right now, converted several over the years, and they have just become productive employees that help to build not only our internal community, but the external community too. Mm -hmm. This whole process, once you see them coming in, um, the, 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 the summer program is it guaranteed once they get through a program that they're going to get on with the company? What's the process then? Because I know mm -hmm. once a student gets in, I know that their hope, hope is that they can go yeah. straight into a company. Yeah, I mean, it's a very opt-in process. It's a high feedback model. So if students commit to the eight weeks and they are showing up every day, willing to take feedback and make the changes that are recommended and they're embracing the experience, um, they're placed in an internship. Um, and so those that don't move through, sometimes it's a, a, the reality that they're not going to be able to commit to the internship through, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're working about 20 hours a week while also going to school in the morning, which is a big commitment. Um, so we want to make sure that they're prepared for the commitment as much as our partners are prepared to support the intern. Is there a process where someone can come from the internship into like another layer of, okay, you're not really a full employee, but you could become a full employee. Is there such a thing as that? Absolutely. We have many high school interns that complete their high school internship, stay on with a corporate partner. Um, and obviously a success story is their ability to work and go to college potentially, and then ultimately stay with that company. So we've had um, just recently a few employees that were offered full-time positions with the company that they interned while they were in high school. So that's 
that's definitely the ultimate success story. So one of the roles of you not only being a representative of your company that actually gets these people on is that as a board member, it's all about helping to get money to come in and make their way. So how does that work? What's the process? What kind of uh, pro uh, monetary needs are there for the organization? How can the companies help? Well, in terms of specifics, I'll rely on Catherine for that. But just as individual corporations, you sponsor a student through internships. We have luncheons that are huge contributors for our scholarship campaigns and other programs to support opportunities operations, even something as simple as helping with students' logistics mm -hmm. to make sure that they can actually get to work consistently and successful is where that good money goes. So we're asking for corporate partners to support internships and contribute to the nonprofit. Do you find that that oftentimes can be a barrier to young people that just physically being able to get there, sometimes we don't think about the fact, oh, just get in the car and go. Well, no, mm -hmm. to the kids that you're working to try to help oftentimes have those kind of barriers. Yeah, transportation is one of the top barriers for students to participate and that's why we provide transportation if they need it. So the guarantee is if you're placed in an internship, we will help you get there. Mm -hmm. But during our matching process, making sure that we're mapping the school to the workplace, we wanna keep that commute as, as short as possible. And we have, some of our students do drive, but we do provide transportation and that's why supporters like Centerpoint um, and our other partners that also provide philanthropic support is so critical for our program. Well, I'm going to make sure that I have all the information about Genesis Works Thanks. on our Newsmakers page on clicktohouston.com. Thank you so much for what you do. It's so yeah. great when we see young people getting a leg up mm -hmm. and they can use that help mm -hmm. to get themselves up. Not they're Based upon their own Absolutely. internal drive, they're able to do that. And Absolutely. you guys are helping to make them shine. So yeah. thank you so much. We no, appreciate thank you. This. Thanks for having thank us. You. So. We're going to put that information on the Newsmakers page, and hopefully you'll be able to go to that. If you want to be able to help them, you can get on that website and figure out a way to do so.